It's Callum here from Electric Kicks, and as you can see, I've got a box in front of me and a knife. So that means it's unboxing time at Electric Kicks. Let's jump in. So in front of me, I've got the new Apollo City 2023, and we've been told to expect great things. So let's rip it open and find out what they are. So let's take a look at what you get in the box. And the first thing you have here is this charger. And then once you remove this bit of polystyrene here, you've also got your Apollo City manual. A quick setup guide tells you what all the buttons do. And most importantly, with the City 2023, you get a free Apollo phone holder as well. So you don't need to buy one separately. And of course, you have the scooter itself. Let's get it out of the box. So when you take this out of the box, you'll also get one of these handy Apollo toolkits. This contains all the tools you're gonna to need to assemble this. So let's put it together and see what we've got. And here we have it folks, the new Apollo City 2023. And what a beautiful scooter it is. Let's talk about what it can do. So we'll start off talking about the performance specs and what you get on this. And the first thing to point out is that the City Pro has two 500 watt motors, one in the front, one in the back. And these are capable of propelling the City 2023 to 51 kilometers an hour. Now that top speed is not too dissimilar from the 50 kilometers an hour that the 2022 could get. But thanks to a larger battery in this, what you're getting is a 70 kilometer range compared to the original's 60 kilometers. So in terms of unit weight, this weighs 29 kilograms, which is three kilograms heavier than the single motor city 2022, but is exactly the same as the dual motor 2022. And just like its predecessor, it can handle a rider weight of up to 120 kilograms. So on paper, the performance stats of the new city model aren't too different from the originals. But what sets the city 2023 apart is the features and upgrades that it has other places on the right. So let's find out what they are. So one of the biggest changes to the Apollo City 2023 relates to lighting and safety. And as we can see, we now have indicators included in both ends of the handlebars. And they are activated by buttons on the dashboard. So these indicators are self-canceling. So if you do forget to turn them off, they'll turn themselves off for you. What I also really like about the City 2023 is that unlike some scooters, the buttons to turn the indicators on are on opposite sides of the handlebars rather than being on top of each other. So that makes them easier to use as well. What you're also getting on the City 2023 is an upgraded clasp to lock the stem in place. Now stem models, not a new concept in electric scooters, a lot of them suffer from it, but Apollo are going that extra mile to eliminate stem wobble altogether. And what you get with that is a very, very firm, very secure locking mechanism. On the subject of locking mechanisms, this might not seem like the biggest change to talk about, but this extendable arm here now has a clip on it to lock it in place. So when you collapse it down like that and clip it in, that's not gonna come loose when you move the scooter. And that's something the original didn't have. And this actually makes the scooter a lot easier to pick up and move around. When the original Apollo City 2022 came out, there were some sporadic reports of throttles that were sticking. And while that problem was rectified, Apollo have gone and put the solution as standard on the 2023. And what you get with that is a very smooth and stable acceleration. So there were plenty of things to love about the City 2022, and those reasons are why it was still one of our best-selling scooters even today. So let's talk about what they've kept on the 2023 version. So from front to back, we have the same regenerative braking that Apollo was able to perfect on the 2022, and that's more than capable of bringing the scooter to a stop without the use of the drum brakes on the front and back. We also have a slightly redeveloped light here that can be adjusted by moving it up and down. Moving further down the stem, we've got the same sleek, beautiful design that we came to know in the Apollo 2022. But moving forwards, we've got the same puncture resistant self-healing tires, the same suspension on the front here. We've got the same beautiful design on the deck. And then towards the back, we've got double spring suspension and another self-healing tire. And all these features are what came together to make the 2022 a fantastically reliable ride. And I'm really happy to see that they're all here on the 2023 model as well. 
So we've covered all the features that the 2023 has, and they all come together to make a really, really practical ride that's suitable for a variety of riders. With a 50 kilometer top speed, it has the speed for those people that want to go a little bit faster, but thanks to its adjustable riding modes that you can change on the handlebars, if you don't want to go fast, you don't have to. Coming in at 29 kilos of weight, there are lighter scooters, but they are much heavier as well. With a 70 kilometer range, it can go the distance if you need it to go very far, but it can also handle short local trips if you don't want to go far. And this all comes together to just make a really, really beautiful and comfortable ride. Once you factor in the same IP66 water resistance rating, which is technically the beginning of things being considered waterproof, you actually end up with a scooter that you can use in any condition year round. So the original City 2022s you can see behind me here were best sellers. But when we considered how could these be made better, this is exactly what we had in mind. And these are already proven popular with customers on electrickicks.com.au. So if you want to get your hands on one, head to Electric Kicks, get yours today.